Okay, this does not look half as appealing as I wanted it to, so... Your girly is back with her London vlogs and her roots are only getting longer. Good morning! Oh my god guys, long time no see. I haven't talked to a camera in a week and I feel depleted. I feel disassociated from you and I don't like that feeling. It's kind of weird because I usually vlog one vlog a week and, and the last time I vlogged wasn't even that long ago. It was my Porto vlog which I need to edit this week. I've just been so busy recently. I just finished my reading week. Today's Monday so didn't acknowledge that. Just finished my reading week which was the most hectic period of time but in a really good way first part was my trip to porto with hannah which as i said like the vlog is already up on my channel that was really really fun but obviously like traveling kind of tires you right and then i went back to london i went back on valentine's day i just had like the evening to myself then i had the one whole day off it was a day off but i needed to do everything like i had an article to write i had my shopping like all of that and then on 16th my friends from poland came and they stayed with me and my friend till sunday yesterday so they left yesterday and today's monday i hope that made sense basically now that they've gone and my reading week is over i'm honestly i enjoy my reading week so much and the social life was great but i have not been alone with my thoughts for like nine days i've been with people 24 7 for so long that i'm really like craving time alone and my like routines because obviously my routines were kind of like thrown off i'm not complaining about that week i'm just saying I'm really excited to go back to my routines. I'm really excited to, to cook like hearty meals with vegetables. I was also like not really vegan in Porto and I think it just kind of upset my stomach. I was bloated in Porto all the time. But yeah, that was a recap of my reading week. And as I said, it's Monday. We're starting new and fresh. We have five weeks of term two left. I don't even want to think about the fact that I am middle of my degree already. I'm gonna get to my coffee and do my silly little routine. I don't know what yet. Maybe a little French, maybe scripted podcast. Oh my god. I love my mornings. Il n'en veut pas. Tu lis, j'apprends aussi, merci. I'm getting ready and I've been feeling so uninspired with outfits recently like i literally hate this outfit i'm gonna change because i think i've been feeling like that for a while but then it kind of just the point tipped when my friends came over and we went out to heaven it's like a gay club in london and all of them had like really nice corset tops and fan outfits and colors and i was just literally black and white again as i usually am i don't know what it is i need to switch things up like on one hand i really have the urge to like go shopping and spend a lot of money but on the other hand i don't want to spend money and we try to avoid buying new clothes as much as possible and like the whole consumerism sustainability i don't have money to buy sustainable clothes so i'm just like contributing to fast fashion maybe i should just go on depop and spend like a bunch of money actually that may not be that such a bad idea because i do feel ethically better about it like when i I have so many clothes, but also like I don't have any, you know? But yeah, over the whole like week, the weather has been just this plus like really strong wind that like I can feel here. Not fun. I mean, this is as good as it gets today. It's a terrible outfit. But I'm also wearing a hoodie that's not even mine. Yeah, let's just like not look at ourselves too much in the mirror today. It's not that I feel like not confident or like ugly. It's just that I hate my clothes. I feel like my style is developing, but my wardrobe isn't. And that's the major issue. And there's this like dichotomy between the two. And then I just get frustrated because I cannot express myself through my clothing. And that's like a big part of everyday life. So there you have it, getting philosophical about my clothes. I'm gonna go now because I was meant to do that a while ago and I have a lot of stuff to do today. So, see you on campus, besties. I feel like I rarely notice how pretty my campus is, like all the buildings and the like white walls. It's so cute and there's flowers on the trees. Summer rain on the window. Watch the time float on Cool air blows a memento As I fall behind 
So, fun update. I went to pole dancing um, to open practice literally like maybe 15 minutes ago. I did my stretches before and I started doing some moves, but I like didn't have a clue what I was doing. So I just started doing some random stuff that like someone showed me. And I did this thing with like middle split, I'm pushing them against the pole. And I heard the sound. <laughs> I heard the last time I pulled my hamstring which was a different position, it was a different split, but I heard that sound and I know what it means. It means there's nothing good coming. So I went to the bathroom, cried a little because I'm really stressed now. The thing is like when I pulled my first hamstring in November, it's not bad, but it's just like, I cannot do like full bow bend on that leg. I don't know. <sighs> I really hate being impaired by my body. <laughs> I hope everything will be fine and it's not as bad as the first one. So it's about three weeks later now that I'm editing it and I'm watching these clips back and I'm not gonna lie, I am cringing a little and I know I was really dramatic in that shot and I also thought about not including it because I feel like it's kind of, you know, I'm being so dramatic about something like a pulled hamstring but like people have it much worse and me saying that I'm impaired by my body where I literally just took five days to heal is kind of, I feel like, insensitive to some people because some people are actually genuinely in by their own body. They get injuries that are much more serious than that. But that's what I was feeling in the moment. I guess I was really upset for like a couple days and especially in that moment because as I said, like I pulled, I pulled my hamstring before already. So I was kind of also angry at myself for doing stretches that I know I don't have the flexibility for. But I decided to include these clips anyway because that was me at that moment. And I hope you don't mind that I was being a little dramatic. I have absolutely no dinner today, so I had to run to the store. And now I'm making savory oatmeal, actually. Yesterday I was watching Moya's recent not vlogs, she posted like a morning routine and she included that recipe and really hyped it up saying like it's one of the best things she's had in a while and that she makes it for like dinner and lunch and I thought, you know, she convinced me to have it. Tomorrow I was supposed to go to Little. We'll see how that goes with my leg. I feel fine, it's just like certain movements hurt so I'm not gonna be doing them and I'm not gonna be going to the gym this week which is really bothering me. but like as soon as I finish my first coffee, I feel like drinking another one. It's not an addiction, I just love the taste. Like nothing tastes as good as coffee. Good morning. I spent like the evening just editing, watching Euphoria and trying to put myself in a position that wouldn't hurt me. It's not bad, I'm not gonna victimize myself and I'm not gonna talk about it. Hoping it'll just be very quick recovery. So that's that. I was supposed to have a lecture today, but actually got canceled because there are strikes going on right now. But I was quite surprised to hear that it was canceled because my department never strikes because it's economics, they never strike. That doesn't really mean much to me besides the fact that I have one extra hour to spare in the morning. Still gonna go to campus, probably not gonna go to the gym today, but... Look at her, she's so majestic. Camp is looking sexy as ever today, honestly. It makes me so happy. Many times I try, but I just don't remember. I'm so sorry for dreaming about the future. Anyway, I just came back from Lidl. I thought I would do a little haul. Let me show you my silly little groceries. I think I ended up paying 18 pounds for all that you're gonna see. So we have veggies, carrot buttons, cause I hate cutting carrots, onions, lettuce, cause I wanna make a salad that I found on Instagram, reels, avocados, obviously, they did not have the plastic free ones, but at least they had avos, celery, spring onions, and two cucumbers, usually buy one, but there's another recipe I wanna use it for. 
kale. They did not have spinach. Plant-based butter because it ran out. Some beans for a soup I'm gonna make. This, I just saw it randomly. It's not vegan, but it just sounded so good at that moment. I saw this, which I've only ever seen in Waitrose, and it was discounted. My favorite yogurt. And these little things, these are like chocolate pots. I love them as like post-dinner dessert. My favorite hummus, just bought one this time. Mushrooms, oat berry stuff, and bagel thins. And I'm running out of oats. Definitely does not look that appealing, but ugh, it's so smooth and creamy and I would totally recommend like doing it. I am really not serving looks in this vlog, but I have two packages from our lovely Jeff Bezos. Thank you. These are more like practical stuff, I would say. The first one is, I had to like look up how is it in English? And it's a nail drill machine. Also, I don't know if I actually showed you my nails. Why are they not focusing? Hello? I did these nails sort of like before Valentine's Day for no reason. These are probably the nails I'm like most proud of ever. Like people were actually impressed. But yeah, I had to order this because I swear like taking them off takes an hour and a half to two hours and then putting them on takes like an hour. Like it's a three hour procedure just because I don't have a nail drill because I have to like scratch them by myself. Now this package, this package relates to my week Weekend, actually. I have been invited to a party this weekend, but it's not your regular house party. It's quite a fancy 21st birthday party and he rented like a whole place for it and the theme is Great Gatsby, right? Now I don't have a dress that suits the theme nor the accessory. I don't have anything and I was looking for dresses But then the dresses are like 30 pounds So I, what I think I'm gonna do is get a black mini dress and hope it passes as one But I spent 10 pounds on accessories Basically, there's a fake cigarette a set of very cheap pearls as long as they last one evening I'm gonna be satisfied then we have gloves I am so curious as to like how I will look that looks kind of creepy and the final card, crown jewel, is this headband hair accessory. I literally cannot believe going to a party with this on my head. But it's gonna be an outfit. It's gonna be an outfit. Maybe I'll put up like a picture of me wearing the outfit. So yeah, that's my little haul. I'm not gonna bore you with it anymore. Talk to you later. Yummy! I just have a love affair with soups, honestly. I just love them. Like, they, it looks so delicious. I'll just really appreciate a hearty meal like that. I have not cooked for myself in like a fat while, like a proper meal. Like, this is just me back with my silly little routines and I love it. I'm gonna watch the fifth one. No, the sixth one. I watched the fifth one yesterday. The seventh one just came out. We'll see how it goes. I'll let you know. It's midnight. I just watched the episode I was telling you about. I think it was number six. It was the one where Lexi and Fez watch a movie in order not to spoil anything. It kind of annoys me because I feel like people assume that like everyone watches it the day it comes out and just spoil it like it's Harry Potter. I'm sorry, but I am catching up. I don't know, this season feels so weird and I think to a lot of people it does as well. It just feels A, way more heavier, but also it just feels very out of touch. Season one, maybe it wasn't relatable, but it, on a lot of levels it was and it had like a coherent plotline and this season just feels like a bunch of random scenes and put in random order that like sort of tied together but not really it doesn't excite me as much as the first season but i'm gonna go to sleep still obviously not going to the gym tomorrow healing my body but yeah that's the update for now like a secret agent today I'm wearing this skirt beautiful gorgeous gorgeous girl weather it's very early feeling good my leg is doing really well and i'm i just hope i won't like get too excited about it and overwork it by an accident the vibes in the park are immaculate so i'll just chill here for a while before i start working <laughs> like look at the flowers i'm debating whether i like spring or summer more Bro, I feel you. <laughs> I'm just sitting in the park, chilling in the nature and just soaking the sun. It just makes me like I'm touched by this moment. Really want to try like be present in moments like that, like not to distract myself with music, which I tend to do. Breathe in, breathe out and just enjoy the moment. This is the boost of serotonin I needed this week. Again, I never know what actually is in it, but I'm literally never complaining about it. 
hi besties i'm coming to you with another grocery haul i've already spent 40 pounds on groceries in this video i bought spinach and it's outrageous that i paid 110 for not even 100 grams grams of spinach basil tea because i was out of any tea and i have been drinking a lot recently this is elderflower and strawberry from twinnings green lentils because i want to make a vegan bolognese and i saw a recipe with those protein bars like for some reason they were cheaper to buy like individually than as a pack oat milk and almond milk they were on sale as well so lemons bananas i think i actually didn't pay for them because i forgot to so i had to buy some like makeup remover and hand cream so this is actually a treat to myself this is vegan via life cheese this is the mature cheddar i used to have an obsession with that in first term like i used to buy it every single week and had to stop myself from buying it twice a week i haven't bought it since i came back to london but you know i just saw it and i was like three pounds but worth it and i spent 20 20 pounds on that and like compare the amount of groceries to what i spend in little and it's the same amount of money i'm scribbling my podcast episode and this is playing in the background very relaxing that was everything for the vlog thank you for watching it and i love you all and good night